Hey guys, welcome to our channel, Creative Coppers. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a crank combo rig. But before we start, I just want to say a big thank you to all of our viewers and new Facebook followers that we've gained to our page over the last week or so. So before we start, I'd just like to go through some of the components and tools that you're going to need to make this rig. First of all, we have some stiff link here, some supernatural uncoated braid, a puller tool, a size 4 crank hook, a small crimp, some scissors, a boiling needle, some rig putty and a crimp tool. Okay, so what you want to do is just get yourself a length of the supernatural braid there. You need around about say 8 inches, 8 to 10 inches, just give yourself enough to work with. Okay, so first of all, you want to tie a small loop, an overhand loop in, in one of the ends there, and this is for the hair, and later on, use it to put your boilie on. Okay, so there we go. I use a, a boilie needle there sometimes, it's a lot easier to, to make the loop. And just pull that down nice and tight, and Take your scissors and just chop the tag end off there just to make it all nice and neat. There we go. Okay, then take your size 4 crank hook, thread the opposite tag end through the back of the eye going to the front, and at this point you want to be setting the length that your hair is going to be. Now this can vary. I like to have mine around an inch, inch and a half, sometimes even two inches long, but this is completely down to yourself. And then you want to tie a seven turn knotless knot. And then thread the tag end from the back going through into the front. And just pull that down nice and tight. And then just make sure that the hair is coming directly down the back of the shank in the middle. You don't want it going to either one of the sides, straight down the middle. All that nice and tight. Just put that away for a minute. And then you want to take some of the fluorocarbon stiff link. And in this case, take around about 10 inches again. Always give yourself enough to work with. Um, what I like to do is just make a little fold in the stiff link there. And you can actually use the crimp tool to, to close that and make a bit of a crease in the line. And uh, I find that this makes it set easier later on down the line when you tie the knot. Can be a little bit fiddly to do. Oh, there we go, got it. Okay, so make a little fold in the line there. And now, take the supernatural line with the, uh, the size four crank and just thread that through the loop that you've created there. Now this is the point where you're going to be setting the length of the, the supernatural part of the hook link. Now I, I do like it quite close to the, to, to the stiff link. So the closer you get it here, the closer it will be at the end of the rig once it's made. And then what you do is just go around twice. Okay, and now this is actually called an Albright knot didn't mention that before. It's quite a tight knot. Go through two or three times and then just clamp the supernatural and the stiff link together. And then what you do is you just go around eight times back down towards the hook. And now what you want to do is just take the tag end that's left, thread it through the loop the same way that you came in, like that, and just pull it down a little bit. Oh no, something's gone a little bit wrong there. Right, 
right, so look, something look, looks like that. End up with something looking just like that. Mice in the knot and just gently pull down the coils there. And so you've got to the crease that you made earlier on. Okay, at this point, take the tool and just gently pull as tight as you can. And there you go. You've got the, the length set there. Quite short, like I said. And you want to chop off the tag ends of both the stiff link and the supernatural. As close as you can get them. There you go. And you end up with a nice tidy little knot like that. And you can pull this down a little bit tighter once you've got the, the next step of the roof done. So let's get on with that now. Take one of the small crimps, always cut a 45 degree angle on the stiff link there, just makes it a lot easier to thread through the crimps. Thread it through one of the sides, and then you can set the length that the rig's actually gonna finally be. In this case, I like mine around about eight inches long. So you've gone through one side, you now need to go through the other side, thread that down, There you go. I like to have about five to ten mil size loop, and this is to connect connect it to the leader later on. Take your crimp tool, and just close the crimp nice and tight like that. And then I like to take chod it tool just to keep the, the loop there nice and round. And then take your um, pull tool and just pull it down nice and tight like that. This does two things for you. It straightens out the, the stiff link for you and also just double checks that you've got the, the crimp on there right. Sometimes if you don't get them on right, they will just pull straight off when you get to that point, but we're all right. Okay, just wanna do that one more time just to straighten it out nice and straight. Also, it'll test that little knot for you as well. You can see that it hasn't slipped at all. Perfect little knot. Okay. So that is the rig pretty much finished. The only thing you need to do now is just add a bit of putty to the rig, which that little knot is perfect to add the putty to. You don't need a lot of putty, just a little bit on there. So just roll it around your fingers for a second, get it nice and sticky. little round shaped like that make it nice and flat and round just put the knot inside it and just roll it round like that just a bit more a bit more shape to it there we go and there you go that is one crank combo rig finished and ready to go out and catch fish. So here we are with the tank test. As you can see, we have the crank combo on an 18 mil bottom bait and it sits perfectly in my opinion. And here it is again, set up snowman style. And finally, this is the crank combo set up with a wafter on there. Uh, not a lot of people like to use it this way, but I find being a little bit different to everyone else can actually get you that bite.